Hey new folks, this is Mike Bennett with 110knots.com with a brief review of some of the aviation applications for the Apple iPad 3G. This is my review of uh, Jeppesen Mobile TC. Jeppesen Mobile TC is an iPad application designed as an uh, approach plate reader. Um, it comes in conjunction with your JetView subscription. Uh, if you do not have a JetView subscription, you can uh, check that out at jeppesen.com. Uh, once you order your JetView subscription, they will send you the CDs with the serial number on the back. Uh, the serial number is what you use to activate the product so that you can download the charts. Uh, the application itself is free from the um, from the App Store. Once you buy and install the application, you just load it up on the uh, iPad as such. It will load up your last approach that you had that you had loaded, which is a nice thing, uh, just in case you accidentally shut it down and you need to get back into it. We're going to go over a couple of the icons on the top and work our way down to the bottom. Right now, I'm looking at New York's Kennedy International Airport and one of the approaches over there. As you can see, it's laid out just the same as a regular paper chart. It's exactly the same thing. Uh, one of the things is it doesn't totally fit in the screen. I thought that might be an issue at first, but as you can see here, you got all your important stuff on the top to build the approach. And then as you go down to actually fly the approach, you could just scroll it like that. Uh, if you do want to look at the entire chart in one shot, you could just pinch and then it'll show you the entire thing in one shot. If you double tap, it'll bring it back out to the full size. All your index numbers are across the bottom of the screen, so you can jump from index to index or from approach to approach. If you want to then go search through more, you can go and press on the airplane icon. This will show all, the, all your airports. You could search for airports just by clicking in the search, search bar there. You can type in the airport. Lehigh Valley where we're going to go. I'm going to fly the ILS runway 6, but we can also see taxi diagrams and everything else. Here's your approach. If you needed to change it, you can just change the page. Very easy to use, and the application seems to be very stable. Uh, no issues with that. Another nice feature they just added was the uh, chart change notice. Um, lists out all the chart changes if anything has changed and when it was changed. On the other side here, we have our favorites, our favorites within the airport that you're looking at. I don't have any set up now. Um, another nice option is that we can go through and change the brightness of the display right from the application, which is nice. You can favorite charts, or you can unfavorite the chart, and now the airport is in your favorites, which is a nice feature. Over here is your settings. When you click on settings, it's going to go out, and it's going to check your status. It's going to make sure your charts are all current. If not, you can go and download them from there. And that's also where your serial number is stored. If you go over here, let's go back over to the search. Another nice thing about the search is once you go out and you just click on search, if you're looking at an airport, it'll show you all the rest of the approaches. So if you're flying into a really big airport and you want to just jump down to the airport diagram, you could just select it that way instead of having to go across the bottom of the screen. Um, if I want to go over and I want to go to one of my favorite airports, I can go back out to airports. I can select favorites, and this lists all my favorite airports. Uh, the favorite airports list can be edited now. We can take away airports. I'll take away Allentown. That's done. We could also move airports within the list just by selecting on this side. We can move it and drop it. When we're done doing that, we can select any one of the airports, obviously bring up whatever we want to do. Let's say we're going to fly the Morristown 5 departure. It's the same thing as the written or as the paper chart. So uh, we can just scroll scroll across and see whatever we have to see. We can zoom in, take a closer look to see what's going on. See what we got to do. Double tap. One of the nice things. It's well implemented. Um, the only thing that's missing out of this application that needs to be added is uh, two things. Uh, one, it would be nice if they had GPS uh, uh, referencing on the charts, which they don't have currently, but they said they may be adding in the future. Um, another thing you have to do is uh, two things to your iPad before using any of these applications. Um, if you double click on the home screen, on the home button, and you go back, lock your orientation, 
and then that way as you move the iPad around in the cockpit, it doesn't switch from landscape from uh, portrait to landscape and vice versa. Um, another thing you might want to do is you go into with JEP, it does not automatically turn off the uh, sleep functionality. So if you have auto lock turned on, like the, it does by default under five minutes, if you're flying an approach, you don't want to be surprised with your iPad going to sleep on you. So I suge suggest before flying is just to uh, set it to never. And then that way, as long as you're flying and you have the application open, it's going to stay running. That's pretty much my review. Uh, if you have any comments, suggestions, or questions, feel free to uh, ask on the comment section and uh, please subscribe. Thank you.